5 with Arts for Learning is made possible by the Indianapolis Foundation, a Central Indiana Community Foundation affiliate. Hey there! Thank you for tuning in to Take 5. My name is Rob McBride Scott, and I'm a teaching artist for Arts for Learning Indiana. Today, I'm going to share with you my workshop, um, Gifts of the Earth, Effigy Pottery. But before we get started, take a moment to like this post and share this page with a friend. So today we're going to be doing some effigy pottery. It's just a big fancy word for the image of a person, an animal, or a thing. And you guys probably use effigies um, that aren't made out of pottery, but they're made out of something else. So they're a container. So an effigy pottery piece is an effigy container. And the kind of containers you might have that are effigies are, <gasps> what's this? Mrs. Butterworth. And it's a container that's shaped like a lady. Or maybe you like honey and effigy container, which is, ah, uh, the bear honey. I love bear honey. The first thing we're gonna need to have is some clay. I use a self-hardening air dry clay, but you could probably use about any kind of clay. And the first thing we're gonna do is a pinch pot. So I get a piece of clay that's just big enough for me to hold in my hand like that, because everybody's hand's a different shape and size. So I take my ball of clay like this and I roll it, rolling, rolling, rolling. So it's a circle, somewhat a circle. Then I take my thumb and I stick it in up to where my thumb bends. And when I pull it out, what happens? Ooh, I made a hole. Now I'm going to take a motion like a duck bill quacking. And I'm going to stick my thumb back in there and I'm going to, like a duck biting, quack, 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 quack. And as I do that, what happens? The hole gets bigger. So I do that all the way around and I want to keep my walls nice and thick because if they're thin when it dries, it'll crack. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I've got a little mat here and I'm going to take my clay pot and I'm going to tap it a couple of times on my mat. And what that does is it flattens the top and then I'm going to tap the bottom. So see how it flattened the bottom and then I'm going to take it and on my mat and I'm going to roll it back and forth like that and it smooths out the sides and this is called a pinch pot and this is how we start making our little effigy bird that's what we're going to do today and, and maybe you don't know what birds look like well I got these I printed them off the computer they're out of a, a, a coloring book so it gives you an idea of how birds are shaped because every bird is shaped a little bit differently. So next, I need a little bit smaller ball of clay for the head. What I'm going to do is I'm going to roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. Rawhad. So now I have a little round ball. I'm going to take a spray bottle and I'm going to spray a little bit of water on my mat. Then I'm going to take that water, my fingers all wet, and I'm going to pick a spot on the clay pot. And I'm going to rub that water on there and see what happens. It starts to make this kind of sticky mud we call a slip. I'm going to take my ball of clay and I'm going to push it on there and turn it back and forth. And then it sticks. But that won't make the ball of clay not fall off. So we do a method called blending. And I'm going to take my finger and see how I'm sliding that clay. And that makes the clay all stick together into one piece. So I'm gonna do that all the way around. I'm gonna do it in a fast job because we've only got a short amount of time.
just have to let it dry. Don't put it out in the sun or it'll crack. So you have to put it somewhere where it's nice and dry and a lot of air going around it. it. Might take a couple days and it'll dry and then you can paint it. Thanks for joining. Take five. Be sure to join us next time for another exciting program. Arts for Learning needs your help. During this time of uncertainty, many teaching artists like myself are without work, leaving our youth without quality arts learning experiences. Please consider donating to Arts for Learning's Emergency Relief Campaign. Your support would be greatly appreciated.